We turn now to a case where the leads have yet to work, so the family now wants the community to help. Manuel Oswaldo Jaquez Machado was murdered on Christmas Day, beaten and left in a parking lot this after a dispute over a fender bender. His son told his story to reporters this morning for the first time. They hoped someone might know something about the man who punched and kicked his father and left him for dead in that parking lot of a Thornton bar. Nine News reporter Steve Stager spoke with him today. And Steve, I can't imagine the story. It's a powerful message he wants to send. And he's just asking for help. Yeah, Javier Osvaldo Jaquez turned to the cameras today and said that the family forgives the man who did this, but they are pleading for him to turn himself in. He says that his dad was at Thirsty's Bar in Thornton on Christmas Day playing pool like he loved to do. And when he was leaving the bar, he appears to back into another car in the parking lot. The guy inside that car gets out, yells, attacks him, the man affectionately known as Oz. Then he took off. A father, a brother, a friend, and to many, the joy of the party. His son says Manuel Oswaldo Jaquez Machado was the kind of guy who brought canned goods to work to feed the homeless. A man who worked hard to support his family, two kids, six grandkids. With such a tragic loss, we as a family are suffering tremendously. Thornton police say 69-year-old Jaquez Machado walked out of Thirsty's bar around 9.50 Christmas night, walked to his car, backed out and bumped another car. The driver of that vehicle got out, yelled at him, punched and kicked him, then left. As I feel so hopeless, I continue to think that this guy took my mother's husband of 48 years with zero remorse. Police are looking for a white guy, five foot to five foot eight, with shoulder length reddish blonde hair. He had a reddish medium length beard. He was driving a red Jeep, either a 2014 to 2018 Cherokee or a 2017 to 2021 Compass, had a black stripe on the hood. Police have had a lot of tips but not luck. To be for a month now on high alert, uh, it's stressful and it's exhausting. You're constantly trying to look. Is that the Jeep? Is that the guy? The family who lost a patriarch is hurting, but had a powerful message for the man who did this. We can't sit with anger in our heart. That's not the right thing. It's not. If you are watching, I promise you we forgive you. Life is about forgiveness and we understand but do the right thing, come forward. I wanna give this description again. Police are looking for a man with a reddish blonde shoulder length hair, driving a firecracker red Jeep with a black strip on the hood. If you have any information, you can always call Crime Stoppers 720-913-STOP and submit a tip anonymously. Guys, this was a cancer survivor, a man who lived much of his life with rheumatoid arthritis, who really kind of cared for his family for such a long time. Six grandkids, two kids. He was just doing what he loved and playing pool. Yeah, it, was, it was Christmas Day, so you wonder as far as like human witnesses. We see the video and right. it, it doesn't tell too much of a story. There was a witness on the scene because that video is really tough to see. You mm -hmm. can't, there, there's not much light in that yeah. parking lot. You can't really see much of what's going on. There was a witness and they say the video was able to back up a lot of what the witness saw. Uh, but they're just really looking for any tips that they can get. They've gotten a lot of them so far, a lot of Jeeps with the black strip on them just not the right person, so they're gonna keep looking. Oh, that family, your heart hurts for them, and I, I'm sure they drive down the street looking yeah. like for that Jeep. He said, he said he and his wife were at the store the other day. They saw someone who looked like they fit the description. Of course, it wasn't the right person, but now you're just on alert wherever you go, hoping that you might find something. They say that this is a step towards closure for them, finding someone. Right. Is a step toward, you know, they've forgiven. We, That's what's so stunning. It's incredible to hear him say that. I think it kind of caught the room by surprise when you hear somebody say, I forgive the guy who killed my father. It's been a month. Yeah. It's been a tough month for them. Mm. All right. Thank you, Steve.